New into stock, we have a pretty awesome Audi S4 Avant. It's a three litre TFSI V6 S-Tronic Quattro. It's the estate, of course, the Avant. 2011 on a 61 plate has done 41,771 miles with a full service history, which I'll tell you about in, in a short while. Fuel economy, urban 20.6, extra urban 39.2, combined is 29.4, 0-60 time of 5.3 seconds, Top speed of 155 miles an hour out of a 328 brake horsepower 30 valve engine. Um, we just had it MOT'd, so that will run to the 17th of the 1st, 2020. Six months road tax is 173.25, and 12 months is 315. Really nice car. Grill's been blacked out. S4 badges there, little chin spoilers, fog lamps. A headlamp wash, xenons, multi-spoke alloys, got the aluminium effect, door mirrors, aluminium roof bars, really solid things there, the chrome window surrounds, the sill protector there, privacy glass or rear privacy glass, sat on Michelin's as well, so premium tyres, electric boot release, rear wash wipe, Got an integrated tailgate spoiler. Bags of room in the back again. I'll, I'll cut some footage of what it actually looks like without all my stuff in the back. Um, rear parking sensors, this little diffuser here, and the, the twin, twin exhaust. Uh, beautiful car, sounds absolutely awesome. In fact, one second. I'll just show you in the back. <laughs> Seats right the way back as usual. Now I've got big snow boots on. So, uh, seats are sculpted. Really, really nice. Red and black leather. S4 embossed here, just underneath the headrest. Um, with the seats being kind of sculpted as well in the front. You've got, from the back passenger seat, you've got quite a good view uh, out of the front window, so not too claustrophobic in the back here. Rear privacy glass, brushed aluminium insets here. You've got brushed aluminium insets with the S4 monogram on the sill plates. It's uh, it's it's really, really nice car, lovely. Just take you for a ride. The Audi key system there just slots in the dashboard. Make sure you've got your foot on the brake, and once you've pressed this in, it uh, it starts. Car's got a full service history. We've just done it. You'll hear the usual sound in our cars: the please refuel bong. So there we go. First service, 27th of 10th, 2014 at 29507 North Wales Audi. Second service, 15th of 12th, 2016 at 37,777 Central Garage. And then our garage has just MOT'd it, 41,861 on the 18th of the 1st, 2019. So that's Northwest Auto Care. So we know it's right because they've done it. Um, it is an awesome car. It's been uh, snowing. If you've been watching the uh, video so far, it was foggy this morning, or it was foggy when I started out videoing this, so it, it, it looks virtually like a horror movie around here. Um, the car is beautiful inside now. Unfortunately, there's so much salt on the road. By the time I got it from our garage to here, the car is filthy. I can only tell you it will be valeted before it goes out again. But uh, certainly in this weather with a Quattro, it's, uh, it's the thing to, to use, the thing to have, and uh, the thing to be safe in. We've got electric seats here, just get a bit further back. You can see there, 
all the, the, the four main seats are embossed with the S4 here. Let's just, uh, where has it gone? At the bottom there, took a bit of finding that. Height and reach adjustable steering wheel. And uh, I'll just take you for a blast. It is uh, ever so much fun. I was just going around the roundabout before, not, not fast, but in these conditions, when it was icy before, you just never feel like you're going to lose grip. It just drives and pulls itself around the roundabout. In, in fact, I'll, I'll, I'll just whip around here. Um, I won't go too fast, obviously, because uh, there's make sure there's nothing coming. It is a quiet road, but uh, just... To say that, that's that's not too fast but you just feel like you've been pulled around the roundabout and it, it's uh, really really sure footed the, the great cars and a good engine too but the, also the gearbox such a smooth gearbox um, again I'll just uh, I'll just pull up here where there's no traffic and then we'll set off so it's it's just in automatic second third fourth fifth there's a van right behind me now sixth and there's just no you just can't tell you, apart from the engine noise you know it's never going to be as fast as a transit van <laughs> away at a junction but I live in hope the guy's spinning his wheels there to get out in the traffic what a lovely car so I'm just going to give it some gas as we get on the straight here <laughs> listen that Putting, him, putting the back down there <laughs> he thinks I was going to run into him what an awesome sound that is so you, you've got we've got paddle shift here you can change up and down from the steering wheel the, the left's got a minus sign right a plus it's pretty self explanatory what you do with them but you can also knock the gear stick across there and then change down by pulling back towards you or up by pushing away great gearbox shade band here while well, I forget I always forget that which is a which is a good thing um, not that I forget it it's a it's a good accessory to have um, I think it's about 250 quid extra in a Porsche I'm not sure whether it was an extra in this but uh, it, it is it is good when it when it's not dead dead bright uh, you don't have to pull the visor down Oh, I've got a strange feeling he was going to come up the inside of me again. We've got an Alfa Romeo behind us, a Julia, I think it is. We'll just let him go by. Listen. To... Oh, I, was, I was hoping he was going to gun it because they sound awesome too. The sat nav, Bluetooth hands free. CD radio. The uh, cost finished in, I think it's diamond black metallic, is it? Uh, an Audi colour. And we've got the leather seats, which are two tone, uh, red centre panels, black bolsters, and you've got the contrast red stitching. You've got brushed aluminium here, uh, insets into the door cars and the dash and around the sat nav. It's, it's really, really beautifully finished. Up the, the gear tunnel here, you've got your controls. It's like a, an eye control, the BMW eye control, which operates from just behind the gear stick here. 
your volume control, electronic handbrake. I was hoping he'd do that. But I think, uh, I think ours sounded better. Let's just see him. Really, really slippy bend here, as I always say. Gotta be careful going around here. Seen lots of cars end up there. I can't get enough of the sound of that engine. So we've got at the bottom here, you've got your indicators, your wipers here, and then just below here, which you can't actually see if the uh, lights stay if the lights stay red long enough I'll just show you there you go it's just just there we're just listening for him setting off again and just to be clear it's not the Alphas that I'm selling it it's the the uh, S4 that I'm in. Got on the left, far left coolant temperature, then rev counter, information display in the centre, it's also got a, a digital speedo. on the right hand side an analog speedo and then your fuel gauge so in the end of the cruise control stalk I'm sorry I'm just gonna keep doing that I'm oh, going too fast now in the end of the cruise control stalk is the on switch by the look of it Going too fast again, just knock it down, get it to 70. Making hard work of that, so just over 2,000 revs in seventh gear, the drive seven. Like a Peugeot 206 in front, sorry, 205 actually. Show you how to set the sat nav when we get back. Down here, you've got your radio, media. stupid sat nav info and uh, that's telling you all your junctions volume control on the right hand side here voice control there From this button here you can change your information display it's mode Showing your phone, no files, speedo, and back. Just check the door mirrors all work. That's working. Yep, that's working too. The car's got a headlamp wash, it's got a rear load cover, the, the rear seat split. Uh, individually um, you've also got a parcel net looks like somebody's come through here and taken the sign down the parcel net or dog guard at the back 
lady there deciding what CD to put on while everybody's queuing up behind her. <laughs> As I say, going, going round roundabouts, it's... Uh, you just feel like you could take them as fast as you wanted to. Fair, I think as long as you kept your foot on the accelerator, you, you, you'd get round. The seats are built up at the sides, uh, like Recaro style seats. You've also got electric lumbar support there, that's just changing. This this is just awesome to drive. It's, well, basically, it's doing fifteen hundred revs at fifty miles an hour, just ticking over. Wipers are good too. As I say, lots of salt on the road, and I've got the heat on full blast, so the, the spray's drying on the front screen. It's just, it's, as fast as the weight shifts in the car, you can just let it take you around the corner and then steer back. Give it some gas again. Extremely good heater in it. It's, uh, it's kind of got those funny switches where if you want the fan, you, you click the button there, so that's temperature gauge, sorry. Click the button there and, and then you can see on the screen. That's quite a good idea. You can, you, you know whereabouts the button is, I suppose, and certainly after you've been driving it for a while. And if you want the fan, you click the fan button and use the same switch. Personally, I, I I don't think they should do that in cars because when one switch goes wrong, everything goes wrong. So uh, they, sh they should use the uh, redundancy principle that they use in aeroplanes. Here's your global locking and unlocking, and then your mirror switch is here just forward of the electric window switches. <laughs> 